Hey guys, what's up? It's Exuperist here. It's been a month since I last uploaded a reaction video. There are so many things that have happened during the past month. I quit my job. I couldn't pay my editor anymore. So most of the stuff that I'll be putting out from here on out will be done by me and me alone. And hopefully, you know, it, it will. I'll, I'll be able to regularly put out some videos despite that. And hopefully I can also get a new job soon that I can pay my editor and you guys you guys can have some some of the fun videos that he was editing for me before but yeah so this next uh video reaction will be episode four of Osama ranking hope you guys enjoy it hey guys what's up it's like superist here again and today I'm gonna be reacting to episode four of Osama ranking it's been a while since I watched it so uh, I don't exactly remember every single detail that happened then but i do remember the feels that i felt it was about a month or so ago since i last watched it but yeah so we're gonna get right into the story of boji and kage they're now traveling together if i'm oh wait no they're not traveling together kage went on his own separate mission while boji has decided to go on a journey by himself but apparently i believe he's going to be he's going to be accompanied by was it uh i forgot the name of the the, the big dude with the pointy nose and white hair that guy so we're going to get right into it better get some tissue yes. next to me just in case Right. Aww. He's so tiny and cute. <laughs> and I feel the struggle right from the start. I can understand that the, the struggle that he's going through. This Bozi has some kind of physical deformity. What's with his eyes? Yeah, I don't think that that applies to Bozi right now. Be more flexible, I guess, bro. You see that your little dude here is not fit for that style. Yes, it is hardest on him. What is he? What is she doing? Oh, she's learning how to, to sign. It's the boy. Oh, okay. She is the queen. She has to have that kind of distance. This is before the present time, right? He probably will. I mean, look at that face. He's such a cute little kid. Oh, he is surprised. He is quite surprised. But happy for it, too. He's really glad. He's fine. He's doing... I think that's what it means, right? Should they should, there should be, like, subtitles for... For the sign language, for people who don't know how to sign. That's not what you. That's not what you were thinking that one time. You know when they were fight when he and his. Younger brother were fighting. <laughs> so now we're gonna find out how the system works, right? Scheming mirror. 
Right, he was assa he was going he's going to be assassinated. Daida. Was it because he was blamed for hitting his brother or something? A piece. A piece. A piece. He killed somebody. This guy. He killed this guy. There's a divine treasure vault? They can either go missing or lose their minds. Interesting. They become too obsessed with power, perhaps? It drove them mad. Oh, right, he's going to the queen's village. Or where she came from, wherever she came from. To visit the relatives, but he's ordered to go back to the kingdom right after that. I remember now. He hasn't, he hasn't had a wink of sleep at all. Okay, there's the village. Or town, maybe. I still don't trust Domas, by the way. Not at all. Wow. The entertainment back then. Oh, he's sleeping in in the town square near the fountain. Oh, he's so he's so cute and peaceful. Yeah, I knew it. It was that guy with the hood. He's become so hot-tempered now. Or maybe he was like that even from the very get-go. Uh-huh. But they're only basing it on strength alone. Blind loyalty? I don't like that. Death threats, I, I, I guess. For a little guy, he eats a lot.
Whoa. What kind of world is this? It's like something out of a fairy tale. Maybe that's what the whole theme or premise of this show is. I kind of miss Kage too. Oh, who's this? Okay, some crazy dude. <laughs> I, I like it. This is where I learn how to play charades. Oh, he can't understand him. Okay. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, no. Oh my goodness. But for a fairy tale, this is gorier than I had expected. Or for a fairy tale setting. What is that? A cloud? Clay something? Like a. Whoa. It's it's sucking out all what what happened? How did that happen? Okay. This is getting more and more strange. This is so confusing. It's it almost borders the the mystical or the mythical. The food looks okay though. It's not your usual anime food, but looks delicious enough. He seems very satisfied with it, too. That's the essence of life? Just to kill and eat? Hmm. See, I told you, this guy is suspicious. Unai. Okay, let's peer into the mind of Delmas. Oh, Bebin. He's still alive? How is Bebin still alive? It wasn't- oh, he was eaten by the gra by the earth, right? Oh, they died! What is it- what is up with this? What is up with this show? <sighs> oh, he's chubbier. <laughs> he's chubbier. Oh.
an actual hole that leads to the gates of hell. He's not going to push him into the hole, is he? I mean, he can just pass it up as an accident or something. I knew it. He's going to do it. This guy. Traitor. Or not, maybe. He's... <laughs> Holy crap, he actually did it! <laughs> I was right. I was right. I mean, this guy is not to be trusted. I think. Of course, he's not dead yet, obviously, but like, when things go according to your prediction, it's like, whoa, why? There's bound to be some kind of twist in the, in the, in the end. But then again, I don't know exactly what is his motive. Mm. Of course, he's going to listen to the talking mirror. And it spews out some black sludge. Plunging him into darkness. Well, that's because you're too, too stupid. Not anymore. Probably not. Yeah, yeah. You plunged him into his death. Or gave out the order to actually kill him, so... Like the hero of every story. Right? No, it wasn't a dream. Yeah, this mirror definitely has something up its sleeve. Whatever the mirror is. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just you know what I just came, what came out of my mouth actually happened. My my guess actually came true. I didn't think he was going to do it, but apparently he did it. No, actually he did it. He literally did it. Pushed him into the fire. So there we have it. It's full of twists and turns, this story, but I can't believe it. It actually is going according to um, how one would expect this story to go. Although it was a bit surprising. Some of, some of them were a bit surprised, I guess. I know, we know that he's not dead yet, obviously, because this is his story. And we know he doesn't, I don't know, something he might have survived the fall. Somebody could be waiting there at the bottom of the pit to help him or something. Maybe he's immune to fire. Maybe there's uh, some area in that big hole down there where there's no fire at all. It's, it, surrounding it is like a geyser of flames. Meanwhile, that area is like an oasis or something. I don't know. I can't, I can only speculate. But, I have no idea what the motives of the characters are. Bebin, I know, was eaten alive, or he could have been dead. Because 
Appius killed him. Like, stuck a spear into his stomach and he was bleeding all over and then the, the ground just opened up and and swallowed him whole. Domas, who we thought, who I thought was, uh, was a good guy, apparently is not a good guy. He's He's, uh, he's a very complicated character. And I know there's one other guy um, in the big four, which I... The guy with the bald head, uh, the one who looked like a monk. I don't know, I forgot his name. Of course, Queen Hilling. I'm guessing she already knew what the, the, the broken cup meant, the broken mug. And of course, the talking, the mirror on the wall is manipulating Vida. I don't know what what the motive of the mirror is. Is it like a, an evil spirit who was resurrected into this mirror and has taken over the mirror and is now wanting to um, be resurrected, come back to life of, or some sort? I don't know. Maybe he's kind of like Madara, who's using the mirror as a vessel. So that later on somebody can bring him back to life. I don't know. What I know is this this anime is very weird. In a good way. Like, I mean there are a lot of weird anime out there, but this is just blatantly showing you things that it's it's just very direct and straightforward with how it tells the story. And I love it. Um we, we, we saw a chicken man, a crazed chicken man. Like, what was that about? Bochi just randomly encounters this guy in the middle of nowhere, and there's a there's a plume of smoke that sucked the the life out of, of animals and shot it right back into the forest. Like, what was that about? Okay, I have no idea. It's interesting. I want to figure, I, I want to know what what it all, it, it's all about. Um, but right now, I don't know. I'll, I'll just go for the ride. I mean, let's go along with the ride. Be where it takes me so that's about it um hope you guys enjoyed this reaction please like share and subscribe it helps a lot comment down below if there's anything you want to share or just to say hi hi you know anyway uh thank you guys and see you again next time